What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Boost to the Top VGC 2020 Series 6. Now, I just want to go ahead and start this video by saying thank you to everyone who showed up to the live stream last night. Uh, I've been going live at like 10pm with um, my Players Cup 2 qualifier matches, and that's been a blast. I've been doing pretty okay. I, I'm going to continue to stream tonight, except I'll probably stream a little bit earlier, or maybe the same time. We'll see, we'll see where life takes me. Uh, but today we're going to be using a team from a viewer. Unfortunately, the name of the viewer slips my mind at the moment, but it's a really interesting team. I'll go ahead and I'll flash their name up on screen, uh, whatever their name was on Discord. Uh, but this team is super cool, right? It's a team that I tried out on, on live stream. Also, there's my, my Players Cup team. Um, <laughs> it's a team I was trying out on live stream, and it's based around the super interesting concept of weakness policy pickpocket Grimmsnarl and Draining Kiss Kumpay. So basically the Draining Kiss is going to activate the weakness policy on the Grimmsnarl and because Grimmsnarl's item is gone and it made contact with Kumpay, it's going to steal the life orb away from it. So we, we have just a very powerful Grimmsnarl, that's, that's the point of it. Uh, yeah, so if you guys are excited for this video, go ahead, do me a favor, leave a like on the video that's shoot for 150 today, uh, go ahead and comment down below actually. Uh, what do you think is the most broken Pokemon in this format? In Series 6 in particular, I'd love to know. Do me a favor, pause the video, go down and comment. Every comment helps the channel. And yeah, uh, get, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> and uh, check out my Patreon for an extra video every week. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, it looks like Hydreigon, Arcanine, Amoongus, probably the... Oh, it might be the Water type Urshifu. They have no Water type. It could be Water Urshifu. I actually kind of... I think it's going to be Water Urshifu. Um, Sylveon and Raichu. They actually don't have much for Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl could mess them up. Um, and Kumpay is actually pretty nice as well. I think what I want to do... Is to ensure I don't lose to... Does this thing have... It doesn't have Safeguard. That's a little bit concerning. Um... Weezing could be good. Actually, Weezing doesn't look half bad. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the Corviknight. Because Corviknight does have that Lumberry, which could be really useful. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do Corviknight. And I think Arcanine. Maybe Weezing. Um, I think I feel slightly more comfortable with Weezing, because it does help out with the Sylveon matchup. Yeah, it does help out quite a bit. Also, let me know what you guys think about the double uploads recently. It's, it's weird, right? It doesn't take as much time as I thought it would to do double uploads every day. Like, yeah, I, I do have to, like, crank out a couple of videos in the middle of the day, but I think that if I just take this weekend to just get them all done, uh, it, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I, I kind of like what I've been doing. Okay, so they end up going Sylveon and um, Hydreigon, which I think I'm pretty okay with this lead. Let me think. Do I have a move to actually hit that Sylveon? Um, I do not. I do not. I could go Hard Corviknight here. I could go Hard Corviknight, and I think I want to... Hmm. Actually, I'm probably going to be faster than that Sylveon. I don't know the exact stats of this team. I could try to ally switch. Let me, let me take a look to see if I actually have speed investment on this thing. We have no speed investment, so now I'm just going to do my original thought and uh, go hard into the Corviknight. And we'll just Drain and Kiss into the Hydreigon. Hopefully it's not weakness policy. That'd be a little bit concerning. Life Orb Drain and Kiss should be doing a ton of damage, and we do have priority on it. They Dynamax here. I'm hoping that Sylveon, that would actually be ideal, because we should be able to stall them out pretty easily. If it is Hydreigon, they're probably going to get two shot. It is the Hydreigon. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think Sylveon gets ally switch, so we should be all right. Also, apologies if you hear any like wilderness noises in the background. That is literally just because I have my window open and I, I want. <gasps> Guys, I'm scared. Guys, I'm scared. I don't like this anymore. This isn't fun. Oh. <laughs> Good one, bro. <laughs> Max Steel Spike. Okay, alright, alright. We like to have fun here. We like to have fun here. So here's the thing. Um, <laughs> that Hydreigon is dead. 
<laughs> that Hydreigon's just dead. He's not gonna live another hit. Oh, that's so good. Okay, let me, um... Bulk up here. Let me bulk up. Because I'm gonna live any hit from that, from that Sylveon. I'll just drain and kiss again, bro. Let me just drain and kiss. I'm gonna bulk up my Corbinet while I have the opportunity. They might just forfeit. Now they max guard. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna bulk up here. Uh, they should not be able to one-shot my Comfey unless they have, like, Hyper Beam or some garbage. Mystical Fire. Okay. Well, I should live that. The only thing is I'm not as fast as I thought I was. I thought I'd be able to take that. Um, hmm. I can't floor or healing now, which is a little bit concerning. Dang, I really wanted to roost that. I think I need to keep Corviknight healthy. I could always just Drain and Kiss here. I could just Drain and Kiss. Uh, and I'll, I'll attempt to Roost, but I doubt I'll be able to get it off. I should always keep my... my Comfey here, though, which is really nice because I'll be able to activate the Weakness Policy on Grimmsnarl. And they're gonna end up going down to minus two if they decide to go for another Mystical Fire, so Grimmsnarl isn't quite as threatened by this thing anymore. Yeah, there's the Mystical Fire. They're going to let themselves go down to minus two. Which is fine. Because I should just be able to Dynamax Grimmsnarl and Nene. And this is a special Grimmsnarl. So while I won't be able to hit the uh, Sylveon for too much damage, I could just leave it on the field. Just let it be for a while, you know? Alright, uh, they should probably try to will uh, go for a Will-O-Wisp into the Grimmsnarl, which I'm, I'm cool with, man. I'm cool with that. I'll go ahead and go for my, uh, I'll go for my Dark-type move into this thing right here. G-Max Snooze. Is that my strongest version? Dark Pulse? Yeah. We'll G-Max Snooze into this thing, and we'll actually self-drain and kiss here, uh, because that should be free. I doubt they will go for a Snarl. They should Will-O-Wisp every time, which I'm cool with. I'm perfectly fine with. They're going to be doing, like, no damage to my, um, to my Grim Snarl as well. If they decide to Quake Attack, that'd be pretty interesting. Because I'll end up stealing an item from the uh, from the Sylveon, which is not ideal. I prefer to take the Life Orb to ensure I can KO this Arcanine here. This is going to be heat. I'm, I'm excited for this. I want to see this. There's the Draining Kiss. We're going to do pretty uh, significant amount of damage to ourselves here. But that thing is at minus two. That that Comfey, or that uh, Sylveon is at minus two. So it shouldn't be doing much damage to this uh, Grim Snarl. And we're also going to steal that life orb away from our own comfey here with the pickpocket okay there's the flare blitz into the comfey he's like i don't like that thing i don't like it get it off the field we're gonna live though which is pretty awesome so we can actually go for a floor healing next turn maybe depends if we take this all right so comfey does not take that that's fine though this should be doing a hefty amount of damage and we might even make them drowsy which is pretty cool Oh yeah, that's just a that's just a KO. I'm hoping that our Weezing is able to outspeed this uh, Sylveon, because it is a bit annoying how much damage it's it's been doing. Oh wait, we're actually gonna disable um its ability. That's actually pretty huge. We're gonna disable its ability. And it is the water Urshifu. So uh, we actually wall the Sylveon now. What I'll do here is I'll double into the um Yeah, I'll double into this. Urshifu with uh, two fairy moves here because uh, I just wall Sylveon as long as I keep my Weezing and Weezing does have a good amount of physical defense so it should take the hit all right I think we may live that especially since the, the Sylveon is at minus two. Oh, okay that looked like a roll unfortunately hopefully they're not focus sash because this will KO this will KO Oh, they're life orb. Cool. I think I just win here. Because Hyper Boy should be doing pretty much nothing now. Ooh, that had to have been a crit. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way you'd do that much without a crit. Alright, and... Oh, are you kidding me, man? Y you gotta be kidding me, bro. Y you, you truly have to be kidding me. How did that thing take a strange steam? Hello? 
All right, I'm a little bit annoyed with that. I'm a little bit annoyed with that. That crit probably mattered a lot. Let's see how much the Surging Strikes does. It is Life Orb, so... Um... Yeah, without that crit, I think we would have won, considering that Hyper Voice would have done half damage. I think we would have been fine. That That's a bit annoying. Oh, well. That's, that's just how life is, though. That's just how life is. I'm, I am truly annoyed, though, because I had that match. <laughs> Alright. So, unfortunately, we do take an L, but I did get to showcase the... Uh, I did get to showcase the tech right off the bat, which is fine. Which is fine. We'll continue battling here. We're going to drop a bit in rating. Ow. <laughs> so hopefully uh, I can show off the Grim Snarl just a bit more. I really want to see this Grim Snarl put in work. But yeah, no, uh, I've been having fun with uh, Pokemon lately, just making content. It's been nice. It's been nice. Just the output of content has been like at a, a nice steady pace. Ooh, okay, so we're facing the dreaded Drakazolt and Porygon Z Hyper Offense. Uh, Weezing's actually really good versus this. It really is very good uh, because we are going to disable their abilities. And I think Hitmontop isn't too bad either. Is this max attack? Uh, it's not quite max attack. It's pretty specially defensive. I'm assuming this is pretty much just to uh, deal with the <laughs> deal with this this particular lead. Um, and we do have bullet punch for max steel spike. We are intimidated. Yeah. So that might be useful. Uh, in the back here, I feel like Grim Snarl isn't going to be too useful. Arcanine could be pretty good. I think my last Pokemon, uh, I'm, I'm pretty stuck here. I want to go Grimmsnarl, I really do. But uh, Corviknight also looks pretty good. Let's go Grimmsnarl. Like, like we might not be able to G-Max it this game. We might end up having to Dynamax the uh, the um, Hitmontop to get the most out of this. But Grimmsnarl still has uh, a lot of pressure with Sucker Punch. It still hits pretty hard. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to self-proc our weakness balls with that Bullet Punch or something. And if we do end up self-procking weakness policy with bullet punch, that will actually uh, give us an assault vest, which will help us deal with the, <laughs> which will help us deal with the Porygon a bit better. All right, so Lazzle Gengar, interesting lead. We're going to disable both of their abilities though with this uh, wheezing hit on top. So uh, I'm a bit concerned. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I could just go for a Protect. I doubt they'll Dynamax either of these Pokemon right off the bat. Um, I'll just go for the Triple Axel into the Gengar, assuming it's Focus Sash. Because I feel like they would probably fake out into the... Uh, they'd probably fake out into the Weezing, if anything, since Hitmontop isn't too much of a threat to these two Pokemon. At least as far as they know. And I am Assault Vest, so I should eat just about every hit. Watch the Dragazolt come in here for some reason. I'd be so happy if that happened. <gasps> tell me the Dragazolt came in. <gasps> tell me you faked out the. Tell me you faked out the wrong Pokemon, please. Please tell me you faked out the wrong Pokemon, please, 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 please. Yes, <laughs> just land it, hit him on top. You just gotta land it. You just gotta land this. Oh yeah, come on, all three. All three, all three, hit him on top. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff, dude. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Okay. Check this out. I'm, I'm about to double intimidate here. I'm about to double intimidate. Um, it's not within bullet punch range, so I'll just... I could close combat. Triple Axel. Uh, no, I'll just close combat. I'll just close combat here. I'm about to double intimidate this thing. Yep, there's my intimidate. Oblivious Salazzle, interesting. So it doesn't want to get taunted. Wonder what that thing's going for. Alright, so Dragazolt's at minus two. As the heat wave here, I should eat that up. 
they're not going to be doing too much. Okay, they did too much, but um, this should KO. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I'm pretty happy with how that turn turned out, man. And we still have our Grim Snarl, man. We still have that thing. Oh, I'm so happy that turned out the way it did, man. <laughs> we got the freaking Dracozult on the Switch. I mean, we're probably going to see their last Pokemon here. I don't think Gengar would come out. Porygon Z, okay. I can live with that. Um, what I actually want to do here is go for a Snarl. And I might just sack my Grim Snarl here, because Hitmontop looks really, really good for the endgame. And I don't want to lose my Weezing. And I'd like to have uh, Hitmontop Dynamax, I think. So we'll go Grim Snarl here. And we're probably going to end up Dynamaxing Hitmontop and getting in Weezing. As long as I land the Snarl, I'm, a, I'm in a pretty good spot. So they Dynamax the PZ. Alright, what's going to happen here? Probably Max Strike. I can live with that though. Heat Wave shouldn't be knocking either of my Pokemon out. Land the Snarl, man. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's the one thing we had to hit with the Snarl. 95% accuracy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. 95% accuracy. Okay. Okay, 95. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um. So here's an issue. Here's an issue. I can get in hit on top here. But the fact that I didn't get the snarl is kind of huge. Because I could max Knuckle and get in Weezing, but if they target into the Grim Snarl with anything, it's going to be scary. Alright, uh, we'll go for the max Knuckle into Porygon Z. And uh, we'll get in Weezing here. And I. As long as they target into the. Hitmontop here, I think I'm fine since I removed their adaptability. They don't too they don't do that much damage to me once I'm dynamaxed. But wow, that was annoying. I just had to land that and that was pretty much a guaranteed win, I think. Barring any crits. Because the damage output would be negligible. Alright, neutralizing gas. I'm hoping they went for max strike into the uh into the hit on top if anything. I think that's for the best. Cause we've already taken a bit of damage, so I'm not too comfortable taking that much more. There's the sludge bomb, we should eat that. The max strike into the wheezing. Alright, so what I'm hoping for here is to put this thing in range of Sucker Punch. If I can put this thing in range of Sucker Punch, I think I'm cool with the outcome of this. Neutralizing Gas wore off. I've Intimidated once more. Not that it matters. I don't think that's in range. Critical hit, too. Wow. <laughs> Alright, um... I mean... Here's my play. They should go for the max strike into the Hitmon top, and I'm hoping that Dynamaxed with an Assault Vest, I just live it. So I'll max Knuckle that. And I'll actually just go for the raw dark pulse into the salazzle because if they go for the sludge bomb it shouldn't KO me from this range since they're at minus one I can't sucker punch like there's no way sucker punch would KO oh okay tell me that you uh, went for max strike into hit on top tell me you did that please 
It's got to be hitting on top, right? Ah, man. Ah, man. That's not it, man. That's not. That's not him on top. Th that's not him on top. <laughs> All right, Max Knuckle will KO this thing. And I mean, I am assault vest, and I haven't taken much damage here. I still have one more turn of Dynamax. I think my priority is removing the. Um, I mean, Gengar is likely Focus Sash is the thing. Max Knuckle probably doesn't do that much to Salazzle. But I think Salazzle has less potential for damage output. Um, I'm just going to Steel Spike into the Gengar and hopefully that KOs. They haven't revealed an item on Salazzle, so I'm hoping that that's where the Focus Sash is and that I can just knock out the Gengar. Excuse me, sir. Am I about to get hypnosis? Bro. Not like this. Not like this. Oh my god. Well, that's, uh... That's pretty annoying. How do I win now? I suppose I have to get the turn one wake up and triple axle Gengar. Because we can eat a couple hits from Salazzle. It's just that I don't know if we can take uh, three attacks here. Because we're, we're going to have to take three attacks. There's the Heat Wave. Can you miss? No? Okay. Shadow Ball. Tell me I'm in range to live the next attack. Uh, probably not. Triple Axle should KO as long as I get all three. Cursed Body just disabled my Triple Axle. Okay, um, is it possible to win? I suppose the only way I win here is if they miss. Because Close Combat may KO. If Close Combat doesn't KO and they miss, um, Bullet Punch will do it. Tell me you just don't have Sludge Bomb and you're going to miss a Heat Wave. No? Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was a little bit disappointing, not going to lie. Another, another loss for this team, unfortunately. Well, we can always get one more. Unfortunately, two losses. As long as we get one win, I don't, I don't mind it. All right, let's continue battling. You know, I'm just happy that my my players' cup run's going better than this. I can at least be happy my my run that truly matters is doing better than this one. Alright, um... More hyper offense, this time with Sun and Prankster Sableye. I think there isn't much reason to not go with the uh, Grimmsnarl lead here, to be honest. What's, the, what's this Grimmsnarl stat spread? Okay, it does have a lot of HP and uh, a bit of special defense, so I'm assuming... I am assuming we can take uh, whatever they want to go for here. So I'll do with the Grimstar Comfy lead. Um, in the back, Weezing doesn't seem too bad. Does it? Mm, I don't know. And I think I have to bring him on top here. Actually, should I take the Assault Vest? I kind of want to take the Assault Vest. We'll do that. We'll actually go... Um, we'll actually go hit on top to Grimmsnarl for this one. I'll bring Weezing in the back to disable Solar Power if need be, and I'll go Arcanine, actually. And I think that should be fine. Yeah, we're going to do that. So I want to give myself an Assault Vest more than anything. It'll allow me to eat hits from Charizard a bit better. Something I really don't like about GMAC Drumsnarl is that it's two best max moves, it's two stabs counteract each other, so if you go for GMAX Snooze and then want to go for GMAX Starfall, it just sucks. It, it just doesn't help you. Because <laughs> it's going to undo the possibility of Snooze. Okay. Um, a big concern about a possible Yawn from this... from this, uh... Gastrodon. Do I think they're going to Yawn here? 
It's possible. I could fake out. Or I could go for the, uh, the terrain. Here's what I'll do. I'll go for G-Max Snooze and then next turn I'll terrain. We'll self-bullet punch. Because if they yawn, I should be fine. So they Dynamax their Charizard. That's great. That's great. I'm thinking what is essentially a super effective G-Max Snooze into a neutral G-Max Starfall should KO Charizard, so I should be able to go for the the um, Fairy-type move into it next turn. If they decide to go for, for a Yawn here, which would be pretty uh pretty scary all right you ever notice how much this guy looks like aku from samurai jack he really does look like aku dude the bullet punch gonna go ahead and activate the weakness policy and trade us the assault vest which will allow us to eat a hit from that charizard pretty easily Grimmsnarl's got some decent bulk on the special side. And the G-Max Wildfire into the Grim... Ooh! Okay, into the Hitmon top, which survives, so we can actually probably hold on to that a little bit longer. And I G-Max Snooze here. Okay, I think a Starfall after that should KO. And they got Drowsy. That's phenomenal. Okay, I'm actually really happy with that outcome. I'm pretty happy with that outcome. Because I can just attack into the... Let me think. How much attack do I have? Because I might have to go for the physical version here. To ensure I KO the... We have like no attack. Yeah, I'm going to go for the special version. I was, I, was, I was tempted to go for the physical version to ensure we KO the... Um, what's it called? <laughs> the... Uh, Gastrodon, but it just wasn't worth it. Uh, and we'll go Arcanine here. We'll go Arcanine. Because I can hold on to the to the Intimidate and the Fake out a little bit longer. And it seems like they're just going to let their Charizard go to sleep. As they protect the Gastrodon. Interesting play. Interesting play. Maybe I can make it Drowsy here as they Airstream into the Arcanine, which will eat it, and uh, Charizard will be going to sleep here. So, for once, I don't think I've ever seen something go to sleep from G-Max Snooze. I, I, I have never seen that. That's just how inconsistent this move is. And I can go for one more G-Max Snooze to pick up the KO. And then I have... Then, then I'm a real scary Pokemon, man. Then I'm a real, real scary Pokemon for this guy. Alright, uh, I don't believe they have any switch-ins to special G-Max Snooze. They, they really don't, yeah. So I'll just go for it again into the uh, Gastrodon here to knock it out, and I'll go for the Snarl to catch whatever may come in, because uh, I could just Sucker Punch the Charizard on subsequent turns to knock it out. Yep, Charizard's asleep, burning the first turn. Snarl goes off, lowering its special attack a bit. And the G-Max Snooze. Beautiful. Yeah, there was no way it was going to live that. This is a pretty interesting team. I like the fact that you can pass off different items to your uh, Grim Snarl. Pickpocket's such a, a niche ability that you almost never get to see pull off anything, really. Uh, so I'm glad that this team makes good use of it. Ooh, it's Dusclops. Okay. So, I should take any hit from the Charizard now, so I don't really have to worry about it. I'll actually just go ahead and go for, um, I think my strongest combination of moves. It's probably just going to be the Dark Pulse into the, uh... Hmm, do I Dark Pulse here? I think I just Dark Pulse into you, and I could go for a Heat Wave to ensure I get damage off. Or maybe I Snarl. Heat Wave, Snarl, 110, uh... I do the most with Snarl, I think. Not not like overall, but like I get the most out of a Snarl. Yeah, especially since they stay asleep. We land the Snarl on the Dusclops, which gives us a, a nice little nice little tidbit of damage. And I still have Sucker Punch to uh 
threaten anything that might want to come out. And if he sets up a Trick Room, I'm perfectly fine with that. And we just KO the Dust Clops. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That should be game because I have Sucker Punch. I, I like this team. This is a fun team. I'm having fun with it, man. And the Rhyperior? The Rhyperior, though? Alright, uh... Check this out. Check this out. Dark Pulse. This Charizard's gonna stay asleep for the full three turns. I'm calling it here. Actually, do I lose by doing this? Maybe. Maybe. I think my play should just be to Sucker Punch Charizard to ensure I live. Actually, there's no way Charizard KOs me. No, I can Dark Pulse for free. I Dark Pulse and I, uh... I Snarl. There's no way the Charizard, if it wakes up, actually KOs me. Yeah, we're fine. I think Snarl may KO from this range. Yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, Grim Snarl is gonna go ahead and pick up this win here. I'm pretty doubtful to live this hit. And we still have the Hitmon top in the back, so... Let's go ahead and Dark Pulse this thing. And, uh, we'll Will-O-Wisp as well, just to... Just to rub it in. As there's a plane passing by. My apologies, guys. And they just canceled the battle. So we do actually get a win with this uh, with this team. I think it's a great team. I think it's a really cool team for Series 6. I'm really enjoying myself when I use it. Um, I got a little bit unlucky today. But, you know, that's just how it is sometimes with Pokemon. You have to live and learn. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support in the channel lately. Go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Do whatever you want to do. Discord in the description. Patreon in the description. Everything is in the description, guys. Just go ahead and read it one day. It's a, it's a great read. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.